Good afternoon and welcome to the City Hydro Pea Grow Along day number four. I wanted to show you a tray that was done a couple days before the peas that we're doing to talk to you about the root spikes and uh, underwatering and issues with, with watering. Uh, here in the, in the video you can see the root spikes on those uh, roots. Those are from underwatering. You shouldn't be getting those root spikes if you're watering properly. Also, you can kind of see a couple of the roots are, 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 are kind of going upwards. Here we have over here, we have some other ones that are going around. That's because they're looking for water. The root spikes are kind of like the root hairs on the broccoli and kale and stuff like that. They're looking for more water. There's not enough water in the tray for the, what they need. So basically what you want to do is you want to over water right now. So instead of watering for the 30 seconds, you would probably kick it up to about 40 to 45 seconds. Give it a nice watering for the first day and then take a look tomorrow and see if those root spikes have dissipated a little bit. Okay, I'm going to give this a quick watering before I put it back up on the rack. Again, it's 30 seconds of watering and then I'm going to water this again um, after the video. I'm just going to give it a little bit of watering to start to make those spikes go back up inside because the spikes actually are, are hurting the growth of the plant because it's putting it, some of its energy in to looking for water when water should be there. And you can actually see some of the root spikes are actually starting to suck back up inside the plant. Um, it's great. Okay. It's easy to fix. It's not a big deal. A um, little extra water and you're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to put the lid back on this and put it back up on the rack and bring over the tray that we're working on for the pea grow along day number four. People in today for training, so they're downstairs with Jana looking out to cut mats. Um, fun. Okay, so let me zoom back out here. camera a little bit. Okay, so this is day number four. Roots are starting to look pretty good. The moisture is still on the tray a little bit, which we, we want to have every morning when we, every afternoon when we pull it off. The roots are starting to come out pretty good. Let's zoom in and, and show you how the roots are doing there. They're just kind of, kind of looking around for water, so we're going to give it a little extra water today. But we're starting to get that root, and then we're starting to get the first leaves coming out. So you actually now you have two items coming out of the seed. You have the root, and you actually have the pea shoot itself coming out. So we're going to zoom back out here and give it a good 30 second, maybe a 40 second watering today. So again, it's that Earl Stride paint job. Back and forth, back and forth up and down, up and down. And I always like watching the roots when they're getting water. They kind of get a little small and suck in a little bit there. Peas are really easy to grow. Um, we sell a lot of peas. I think we're going through about 25 pounds of peas a week, thereabouts, um, and, and buying peas in bulk is the way to go. Also buying in bulk helps you out if there's ever a shortage, so last week there was actually a shortage of nasturtiums, and I needed nasturtiums, but luckily I had bought 25 pounds on hand, and when I went to reorder I had 5 pounds of stock in hand. So when you're doing this as a living, as income, you need to make sure that you know you're going to have your product and you're going to have the seeds that you need, the coconut fiber that you need, everything that you need in order to make money. If something runs out, whether it's the coconut fiber or the seeds and you can't get to it, you're going to lose some customers. So you want to make sure. So here we're good. It's a little bit longer. I watered a little bit longer, probably about almost a minute, a minute and ten seconds. So now I'm going to water the lid, get it nice and moist.
And then it's back up on the rack. Go say goodbye to the students downstairs with Shana. And we have about six people, eight people in today for training. I'd like to thank everybody for their support. Everybody have a great day. And happy growing.